What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. We're at Mocha Monkey and uh, we have a full kiln downstairs. So we're gonna go open that up, open the kiln, get some pots out, then we're gonna drink some coffee. I don't know. Yeah, we're just gonna see what happens. So let's do it. So this is our back area at Mocha Monkey. Not the nicest of spaces, but not the worst of spaces in comparison to our studio downstairs. So we got a full kiln in there of totally random stuff because it was just a bunch of stuff that was left over. We got our wheel all cleaned up, getting ready to move it out of here. And uh, we grinded down all those, grinded down all these kiln furniture. So we're ready to move those. So yeah, I think we're moving like probably this week. All right, let's open up this kiln and see what we got. See what we got. All right, you ready for this? Are you ready? Oh, coffee, it's so good. Let's open this kiln, I'm excited. We got, this is gonna be a quick kiln loading that I'm not gonna talk a lot through. And I know I've said that before, and then I just talk through it. So, I can't make any promises, but that's what I'm thinking is gonna happen, so let's do it. All right, here's a few Canyon Skies twisty, little Canyon Skies something else this is uh, I don't think I ever came up with a name for this glaze but it's my floating blue with some uh, some other things going on at the top another twisty vase I don't really ever do this but I thought I would just try it so this is a set of cups with one one glaze on it what do you think of that Whew, there we go okay so these are just cups with one glaze one floating blue glaze on the dark iron stoneware clay I mean these are all these are all new tested so there's a that's a very, very, very cool looking glaze. I like it a lot. And then there's another green, kind of a limey green. This one, it's pretty neato. Neato bandito. Whew. Twisty cup, little shot cup. Here's a big blue bowl with the spiral in there. Turned out pretty good. Didn't really warp at all, like that. The black looks like it's a little thin. Yeah, like I said, this was just so much random stuff. I might actually just do a little sale at Mocha Monkey, like put everything upstairs for like 10 bucks because it's like all random stuff. Oh, this one's cool. Nice twisty. Twisty, twisty, It's cool. Spiral. Just some little, little pots. And then here's some bowls, which I did just in this Albany Brown and buttercream mix, which I just like literally try to do it as kind of sporadic. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I think of that. What do you think? What do you think of this set? Yeah, it's all right, whatever. Honestly, I'm just trying to get pots through and done. Ooh, a little vase, it's pretty sweet looking. Got the finger marks in there, inspired by Joel Cherico. Got a twisty carved. So this cup had a hole in it, like I carved it too deep on one side and it had a hole. And then I glazed it and I, it was a really small hole so I thought that the glaze might cover the hole, which I think it did. Oh, but there's a crack in it. There's a crack in it, going in the garbage. This one is cool. This one's got a little, so I always, I've had some pinhole issues with this glaze. This is at Northern, North Woods is what I called it for a while. And then I started getting these little pinholes. Can you see that in there? And so then I just stopped, basically just stopped doing that glaze. It was good while it lasted, but we're on. We've moved on to bigger and better things. And uh, another twisted. Whew. There's a Minnesota mug with a tree and an MN. A little spiral mug. There's a nice, ooh, that's a cool bowl with the little spiral in there. 
And then here's some more little flower planter pot things. Very cool, there's some cool texture in there. Like that was the funnest thing about when I threw all those pots with one hand. Like then I literally, they were a little bit on the thicker side so I thought I should just carve into all of them. And then like it was just super fun. Like all, I just love the texture and the different stuff in, in pots. These are the last things. This is a little espresso cup for the, for somebody. What do you think of all these pots? That might be one of the most random fires I've ever, I've ever done. One of the most random fires. All right, well, so typically for the last year, I've never actually said this, but I've been doing a minimum of two videos per week, right? Like, I, if you follow me really closely, then you know that I've put up a video on Monday at 10.30 a.m. and Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. pretty religiously now for the last year and some months. And then I'll do an extra one every once in a while on Thursday or Friday, or if something's going on, like in Sika I did a couple videos, and, and sometimes I've had like tons of ideas and tons, like there's been times when I've had four or five videos like ready to go, and I'm just like cranking out. And then there's been times when I'm literally making up a video the day before I put it up, right? And right now is one of those times, the last month has been super, super busy with fulfilling all the Kickstarter orders and the construction of the studio has really shifted to me doing everything, you know? Like I'm building all the shelves and I'm moving everything in and I'm trying to do as much as I can, painting, finishing the floors, all that stuff. Like I've done all that. So it's been super busy, so I've been focused more on that than I have been on making videos. But once we get into the new studio, we kind of get into our new rhythm, like I really feel like I'll be able to crank out a lot of really good videos, stuff that's super cool and interesting. I have a lot of ideas, but long story short, I'm just going to take a like a week long break from videos. So this is going to be the last video for probably a week. Hopefully when we come back next week or like the foreseeable future, probably, I mean it won't be that long then I'll have a couple good videos ready to go about moving the studio, because basically I'm gonna take a little time off to move the studio and to just like hang out with the family. So this will be the last video now until we kind of are done and hopefully working in the new studio. Lots of good videos to come, like we got the first 25 mugs in the new studio that people paid for on the Kickstarter, so we're gonna be doing that video. We got a great video about our new extruder that we got. We got a different extruder than that one. So I'm gonna be talking about the differences in those. We got tons of new glaze combinations, like all those glaze combinations that we have been kind of teasing about, like those are all to come pretty soon, like starting in June, we're gonna be talking all about those. We're gonna be talking about what makes a good studio, how to set up a studio, the costs of a studio, doing so much sweet stuff. I got another donut teapot thing coming that's gonna be like a different new style in that. Anyway, tons of great videos to come. We're gonna take a short break from the YouTube channel just to uh, collect ourselves, come up with a plan, um, move the new studio, and yeah, looking forward to a great summer. So I hope that's all right with you. I think I've spent 14 to 15 months now at two plus videos per week, and I haven't missed a week, so I'm just gonna take a short little break. If you yell at me in the comments, then just just don't yell at me in the comments. That hurts my feelings. But we got, I got, there's so much stuff I wanna talk about. Oh, big topic I wanna talk about is the, the plagiarism. Like, who, when are you copying? When are you being original? Like, how do you deal with that balance of like, if you see me make a cup and you straight up go co try and make the exact same cup, like, is that okay? Wanna talk about how to avoid burnout? God, there's just so many ideas, but I just, I need to like, just get into the new studio and then, then we're gonna go, then we're gonna do it. Okay, I've rambled on far enough. It's time for me to take some pictures of this, these pots so that I can insert them into the videos. Yeah, thanks for listening to me babble about my thoughts and my YouTube and all that stuff. Wow, I can really talk to a camera sometimes once I get going. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, smash that bell. That bell button, you know, to get notified whenever I post. That's like really the most important thing because that's the only way you're gonna get guaranteed that I sh they sh YouTube shows you my video. Like, that's really the only way. So smash that bell. I hope you're having a great time. Comment below with any ideas you have for videos. I got tons of, I of ideas, but I know I've made a lot of videos in the past with comments from you guys. And I read all those comments. Even if I don't respond to them, I literally read every single comment. So sometimes it's a little tough to respond, but know that I read them. So. All right, that's it. We'll see you in the next video.